Welcome back to my channel. I'm Joe with Smoking Joe's Pit Barbecue. On today's video, I'm going to be making up some Polish sausages, also known as kielbasa. Stay tuned. All right, let's get started on these Polish sausages. Now, before I get started, I do want to mention that I read a ton of books. I watched a ton of videos on how to make a good Polish sausage. So I did watch this one video on YouTube from Ethan Klebowski. Ethan, I hope I didn't butcher your last name, but this recipe really caught my eye. A lot of recipes do have similar ingredients, but Ethan's recipe had just a little bit different ingredients and it's a family recipe. So when it comes to the percentages of the ingredients that are used for this recipe, I did modify Ethan's recipe a little bit, just a little bit more to my liking. All right, so for this recipe, I am using eight pounds of pork and four pounds of beef, which is 5,448 grams of meat. Now this is important when you're weighing out your ingredients. So here we go. I'm using 68 grams of salt, 68 grams of brown sugar. A lot of people use white sugar. I'm just gonna be using a brown sugar for this recipe. Also 35 grams of black pepper, 13.62 grams of speed cure or the pink salt number one, 25 grams of garlic powder, 12 grams of mustard seed, four grams of pickling spice and two grams of marjoram. All right, let me move this aside. All right, so I've got my eight pounds of pork and my four pounds of brisket trim. This brisket was actually a Wagyu brisket. So this sausage is gonna be extra special. Now this is a bone in pork shoulder. So I'm gonna have to debone this and cut the pork into smaller cubes. So depending on what size grinder you have is gonna determine the size of the cubes of your pork shoulder and also your beef. So the grinder that I'm using is a one and a half horsepower meat grinder and it's got a pretty large throat. So these pieces don't have to be too small. I can actually leave them pretty big and that grinder has no trouble grinding this meat up. All right, so I'm gonna finish cutting this meat up. After I'm done, I'm gonna pop it in my freezer for about 45 minutes, let it get really nice and ice cold, and I'll bring you guys right back. All right, so the meat sat in the freezer for about 40 minutes, it's nice and cold, and so is my equipment. As you can see, it's almost frozen. So I'm gonna go ahead and start grinding this meat up. Got my plunger right here. Just push that meat down. A traditional Polish sausage does have a coarse cut. So that's why I'm using that four and a half millimeter die. This is what you wanna see. You wanna see your meat nice and stringy. If it's coming out too mushy, your equipment is not cold enough or your meat is not cold enough. All right, got all the meat ground up. I'm just gonna move my grinder out of the way and we'll come back and add our spices. All right, so I've got one and a half cups of water. I'm just gonna add all of our ingredients into our water here. And this is ice cold water. So grab your whisk and mix up all your ingredients really well. Now you can add all of your dry ingredients to your meat separately if you wanted to but I found that mixing it in with water is gonna more evenly distribute the seasonings into your meat. And this smells really good already. Just pour it all over your meat. And let's mix it up. So I would normally break out my mixer, but this is only 12 pounds of meat. This is really easy compared to most batches of sausage that I make. So I am wearing some cotton gloves under these black gloves because this meat is extremely cold and it starts to get painful after a while. All right, so I did add another half cup of water and that did the trick. The meat is trying to pull off my gloves right now. As you can see right here, that's telling me that this is getting really nice and tacky. And that's what you want. Let's check it out. That's absolutely perfect. 
that's what you want. All right, so let me go grab my stuffing canister from the freezer and I'll bring you guys right back. All right, so here's my stuffing canister. And what you wanna do is just make a really nice big ball. Remove any air pockets. Just like this and slam it in there. That's gonna help get rid of any air pockets that you have in your canister. All right, so our canister is full. Let's move this over to our stuffer. All right, so I've got my stuffing canister here. Just load it onto my stuffer and lower down our piston. Let's install our stuffing tube with our lock nut. Now I like to spray a little bit of avocado oil to my horn. Just makes the casing slide really nice and easy. Got some ice cold water and ice to keep everything nice and cold. Go ahead and turn your stuffer and get that meat to the tip of your horn. Right around there. So what you wanna do is find the end, stick two fingers in there, pick up some of that water, just to flush out your casing. So you can get these casings and all the seasonings from PS Seasonings, make sure you check them out. Go ahead and flush out your casing. Go ahead and load it onto your horn. And look at that, that avocado oil makes the casing slide really easy. All right, so what you wanna do when making Polish sausages is give yourself enough casing here towards the end, and that's gonna come into play here in a little bit once I stuff this casing. Give yourself about three or four inches of extra casing. Tie your knot. This is that extra casing that you're gonna need here. All right, so let's stuff this baby up. All right, so that's good right there. Yeah, that's gonna work. So go ahead and pinch off your meat right here. Pull out about three or four inches of casing so you can tie your knot. Go ahead and cut your casing. All right, so what you wanna do right here is tie a knot as close to your sausage as possible. That looks good right there. So these two ends right here that we left over, the three to four inches of casing, just tie a knot. Just like that. Give it a double knot in there so it doesn't come apart. Really nice and tight. And there you have it our Polish sausage ring. Let's do one more. Remember, give yourself that extra casing on the end. Tie your knot. Let's go ahead and stuff it. Yeah, that looks good right there. Pull out that casing. All right, so then just tie your knot, which is hard to do with gloves on, but I'll get it. There we go. Then just tie your ends together. You have two or three knots in there. And there we have it. I'm gonna case the rest of these up and I'll bring you guys right back. All right, so we've got all of the Polish sausages cased up. I do have a couple of air pockets in a few of these. So I'm just gonna prick these with my sausage pricker. And I do wanna let you know that my daughter actually did half of these. So good job, baby. She did a fantastic job from start to finish. All right, so I'm gonna throw these in the fridge overnight, let the casings dry up. Tomorrow morning, 
We're gonna be smoking these on my PK100 smoker. Stay tuned. All right, so it's the very next day. I've got my PK100 smoker running at 110 degrees. I'm gonna be using these rods to hang our Polish sausages. So let me pop this door open. So even though I did rest the sausages overnight in my fridge and the casings are nice and dry, I wanna dry them out a little bit more. So that's why I'm running the smoker at 110 degrees. All right, so I've got about seven rings per rod right here. Just gonna hang them on the second shelf. Push them all the way back. Spread them out evenly, make sure they're not touching. And here's our second rod. You can spread them out nice and even. All right, let's shut the door. And by the way, I do have the intake and exhaust open at 100%. That way we get some really nice airflow. We'll see you guys in about an hour and a half. Stay tuned. All right, so these sausages have been drying for an hour and a half. At this point, I'm gonna close the exhaust to two thirds closed and also the intake to two thirds closed, just like that. All right, let's open our door. So I'm gonna be using cherry sawdust for our smoke today and I did funnel it out towards the outside of our sawdust pan. All right, so at the very bottom of the PK100 smoker, you do have a burner, an electric burner. Just put your sawdust pan right in the middle. Just like that. Again, I set my smoker to 140 degrees. We're gonna let these smoke for two hours. Stay tuned. All right, so it's been two hours. Total cook time has been three and a half hours. One hour at 120 and two hours at 140. Let's take a look at our sausages. Now that's what I'm talking about. Check out that beautiful color. Man, these are gonna be fantastic. All right, so at this point, I'm gonna shut the door. I'm gonna close the intake and exhaust vents to 100%. I'm also gonna increase the temperature to 225 degrees. So the final internal temperature that I'm looking for is 145 degrees. I'll let you guys know exactly how long that takes. Stay tuned. All right, so one hour later, and these sausages have hit 145 degrees internal. Let's pull them off. Check out that beautiful color. So I'm just gonna dump these in a bath of ice to cool them down. Man, these have a beautiful color. Nice reddish color. Now, one of the questions that I often get asked is why I put them in an ice bath. You gotta remember, these sausages are really hot. So what's happening with the fat, it's in liquid form inside the sausage, okay? And what you wanna do is solidify that fat or stop it right where it's at, which is gonna give you a really nice, juicy sausage. All right, get them all into that ice water. Shock them, if you will. The other thing that I found by icing them like this is that you get a really nice snap on your casing. All right, so I'm gonna cool these down for about 30 minutes and I'll bring you guys right back. All right, so I've got my Yoder YS 1500 warmed up at 275 degrees. Let's slide out our shelf. So I'm gonna be smoking three of these sausage rings right here. They completely cool down. And this isn't gonna take very long. It's probably only gonna take 25, maybe 30 minutes tops. All right, so we're gonna smoke these for about 20 to 30 minutes. We'll see you guys inside. Stay tuned. All right, so the Polish sausages are ready and they look absolutely wonderful. Check out that beautiful color. These are still really hot. I'm burning my fingers for you guys but it's well worth it. Check that out. Let's slice into it and see how we did. Super hot and super juicy as you can see here. All right, I'm just gonna cut this in half right here. Oh man, check that out. Super juicy, really nice texture. Oh man, you can see the mustard seeds popping out of there. Oh man, these are gonna be fantastic. So one of my favorite ways to have Polish sausage is for breakfast with some potatoes and some eggs. These are fantastic. And my second favorite way is in a sausage dog. So I got a sausage bun right here. Put a nice big piece of that Polish sausage in there. I've got some caramelized onions. 
put enough of them on the top. If you don't like onions, just leave them off. We're going to be adding one of my favorite mustards from Pia Seasoning. This is Beer Hall Stone Ground Mustard. Just drizzle it on the top. Oh yeah. Let's give this a shot. All right, before I dive into that Polish sausage dog, I'm gonna grab a piece of that Polish sausage and bite into it, see if we have a snap, and check out the flavor. Here we go, check that out. Mmm, super juicy, smoky, delicious, mmm. Man, that Polish sausage has some amazing flavor, really nice texture, and super juicy. Now let's try our Polish sausage dog. Check that out, here we go. Mm. Man, I gotta tell you, that mustard and those caramelized onions are money. This is fantastic. Man, if you guys are into making sausages, give this Polish sausage recipe a try. You will absolutely love it. Make sure you guys check out all the links inside the description box. There you will find links and discounts for the knives that I use, the cutting boards, and even the seasonings that I used from PS Seasonings. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If this is your first time to my channel, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. And if you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. Until next time, Joe with Smoking Joe's Play Barbecue. See ya.